Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome to your love reading. This will be for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. If you'd like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Just click that link. You can purchase a 30 minute or one hour phone call reading. All right, Virgo. So we're going to take a look at the past, present, near future, and outcome energy for you and your love life. And uh, this reading I'm uploading today, this is for the next 24 hours, but because it's a Celtic cross, um, it will show going into the rest of the month, okay? So keep that in mind as you're listening. Okay, please do hit like, share, and subscribe, and welcome back. And if you're new, I want to welcome you as well. All right, Virgo, let's take a look here. Okay, past energy, two of wands present Ooh, virgo high priestess the challenge <laughs> fool what's driving this reading is the six of swords crowning let me get these so you can see it is a ten of pentacles near future the knight of wands your advice queen of cups What's external to you and the person you may be connecting with? The Three of Pentacles, Hopes and Fears, Justice, the Outcome, the Three of Wands, and the uh, Wheel of Fortune. So I was just thinking for a moment here. Let me get some love cards here and see what's going on, the love messages. So I feel like in the past, uh, a crossroads, a decision was in front of you and another person okay um, there may have been um, somebody waiting about travel plans there's a very strong waiting energy or waiting for some results to something in the past all right give me the love messages here please okay trust situation is calling for you to have faith and children your love life is being affected by children okay now some of you may have children but i feel like what's going on here is two people came together maybe both of you wanted children or somebody has children um I want to get one more they just said get one more to fill round it out getting to know each other hmm oh some of you might have knew each other when you were children as well and you're getting to know each other again this could be like um a reconciliation from the past even though the card's not here i'm i'm picking up this energy here um or connecting with someone again where there's one or two people have children um, there is an energy here. I feel like um, there's a deepening of a bond, of a connection. Okay, or maybe it's for. It could also be what I'm hearing is coming together in a childlike way, like playfulness. Okay, but let's get more so deeper into your reading. Yeah, some kind of decision or waiting for some type of a result nobody was making a move no decision was actually being made or was made in the past okay this is more like um, it may have been about a partnership but it definitely there were choices and there was a direction that needed to be taken now for some it could have been about travel plans because there is the world card here so there could be it could have been a decision about relocating or traveling or connecting um, if you were on like a long distance kind of a relationship with somebody now I'm gonna pull um, I feel like I'm gonna pull clarifying cards just for the major arcanas today so the current energy here is quiet no communication And there's a decision I feel like being made about whether to leave a relationship 
or not because it sits in a challenge in the obstacle or to try to have a new start together okay and this feels like both of your energy two people in the past standing at a crossroad about this connection and not really knowing no one make it a move and now all is quiet i hear crickets i hear crickets there's silence there's secrets Virgo, you might very well just be in quiet mode at this time. You're not communicating. You're not saying anything. Let me get a clarifier card here. Why are you... Oh, wow. Tower just flew right out. Something major is occurring in the month of August. Virgo, your silence, if you're not communicating or reaching out, is very loud. It's strikingly loud. It's causing a lot of upheaval in some, in, in, in surrounding, um, between you and a person here. So, oh, real quick, I have to tell you guys, um, we have Libra in energy. We have uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. We have Pisces, Cancer. So I'm not exactly sure why the silence, but I know that you're breaking something down. It might be, for some of you, uh, there's an ego thing that's being destroyed here by way of silence, okay? Now, this could be happening to you. There may have been a decision that needed to be made in the past, and somebody might have been waiting to hear something back, but nothing came back. And this may have destroyed something, destroyed a relationship. Or somebody made a decision to move on, and you're in this place now where you're not saying anything. You're not communicating anything. You're not being any, you're just like, it's almost as if you've disappeared. It, it feels like you've disappeared. But, and that's for some of you. For others, there's just an energy of like, everything is just kind of falling apart right now. You're breaking somebody's ego is what I feel. And this is like something like that you're doing on purpose virgo voluntary changes here you're going within and you're purposefully not communicating with somebody now some of you might be doing it to see if this person takes the risk to come back into your life some of you might be doing the no contact rule on purpose, which is not why you should be doing that. You should, if you're going to go no, co no contact with someone, it's to make your life better, not to give somebody a wake up call. Um, and others of you are just in this position where you're just leaving things be, and what, wherever the chips. Wherever the cards fall, wherever the chips fall, let them fall. But you're keeping quiet about some things right now, okay? So a couple of different storylines. Let's take a look at this full card. So if you're getting to know someone from your past or you're connecting with someone that you knew when you were a child, um, you're just kind of letting things be. You're not pursuing anything. All right, I'm just gonna say it. I am. I'm, I'm, we're just gonna keep it real here. The karma card is here. Some of you Virgos are using this. You're using like. <laughs> some of you are using the silent treatment um, to give somebody a wake up call here, right? 
to break somebody down, to break their ego down. Now, will it work? Maybe temporarily, but silent treatments are kind of manipulative. If, you know, my advice, my personal advice, Virgos, if you're going to just stop talking to someone, make sure that you're not constantly checking to see if they're noticing. Just turn your head around and get busy with what you're doing in your life because that's the best for you. But there might be somebody, or some of you, not all of you, so, be, you know, be nice in the comments. Everybody goes through what they have to go through. Everybody does the things that they got to do. But you're hoping that somebody is going to have a wake up call and try to come back to you or try to make something work with you. Okay. And if that's what you're starting out doing and then you keep doing it, you may find that you just start living your life and enjoying your life so much that you won't care anymore. <laughs> but I do feel it will work. I do feel it's going to work. Whether you're doing it on purpose, Virgo, or whether you're just not in a position of waiting anymore for someone to make a decision or any do anything with you, whatever you're doing, it's going to work because at the end of the day, you're going to find out that this is the best thing for you because you, I feel, are just moving on here right? You're, you're moving on from something. You're, you're in this position now where it's like, it's, it's a time for me to transition out of something. Maybe you're, some of you might be relocating, maybe you're moving, you're starting your life over in a lot of ways. Okay. But I just kind of feel like you're, you're making these moves, your, your thought process. For some of you, this is definitely real estate. You're buying a home, you're starting over, but you know, you're not waiting for anyone, but for some of you, your, your thought process is safety and security. You need safety and security. And some of you have just removed yourselves from a relationship. So for those of you who are, you know, going silent on someone on purpose, I mean, yeah, there there is going to be some kind of wake-up call. And I do feel like as challenging it might be, this person is going to try to come back into your life or take that leap of faith with you. Um But I also feel that for others, you're not doing it on purpose. For others, you just want to break down. Look, this is, you just want to break down and start over, okay? You just want to break down and start your life over and you're pulling within and trusting your gut and your intu intuition, trying to have faith again, okay? And maybe start over with somebody new or connect with someone from your past that you, you know, like I said here, you had, you, you were kids, maybe in high school or when you were younger, um, or uh, connect again with someone maybe that has children or, or, or refresh. I'm just, I just keep hearing like refresh. You know when you refresh on the computer? That's what I'm hearing, like a refresh for you in your life. So the near future, like I said, with this person I do, like it's very challenging situation what you're doing. You're hoping that they do have this wake up call here. Um, there may be an obstacle, like I said, between the two of you that there's far away or there's just nothing that really came to fruition for you. But here, I feel like this person is going to come towards you. Because why, Virgo? Whether you're doing it on purpose or not, you're doing something for you at the end of the day, right? Um, if you're doing it on purpose, you're going to find out that this is, this is probably the best thing for you because you're going to start getting real comfortable with yourself. But I also, I'm seeing movement here. And this Knight of Wands, fast acting. This Knight comes in very fiery and lusty with a lot of passion towards you. Okay, now I just wanted to, yep, look, Seven of Cups in reverse. This is ready to commit. <laughs> coming in with a uh, committed, like uh, committed to coming towards you. Committed to initiating a, a new beginning. Now, I know some of you might just not, if you're not doing it on purpose, you've just gone silent because you just want to move on with your life. Some of you may not 
want this person to come back in and others you may. Some of you might not be rushing in anything or taking your time and waiting to see if you're getting to know someone right now, waiting to see how things are going to go, how things like uh, if this person's going to, you know, come toward you, uh, wants to get to know you even better, past or present. But it feels like they're going to, this person, what you're doing here is causing, or you want to cause this person to initiate something with you again. And I do feel like they're going to. I definitely feel like they're going to. So sometime like around the third week of August, I feel. All right, so your advice here, check your feelings, Virgo. Take good care of your emotions. Take good care of yourself. Nurture yourself, heal yourself. Be supportive of yourself, okay? Um, be tolerant and em have empathy for yourself because you know, Virgo, um, I feel like in the past, you were waiting for something and you didn't get the answer that you wanted, okay? You were waiting for something and you didn't really get the answer that you wanted and I feel like you just, whether you left something or somebody forced you to leave something, you said, okay, fine, and you went silent. But I feel like something's breaking down because of that. Now, the person that you're connected to, Three of Pentacles energy. Oh, the five of wands. Wow. So, gosh, Virgo, they just said, tell Virgo that this person has been schooled. This person has been schooled because you um, decide, I feel like you decided you're not going to fight back. You, I feel like for you, you're not going to force someone to do something if they don't want to do it. Let spirit, let the universe, let life handle this person, especially if they're in this, you know, ego thing, because this is the crown right here. This is the head, the lightning bolt right to the head, knocked off their feet. I feel like Virgo, hands off the wheel in this connection. Let this person just figure things out on their own. Let life teach lessons. I feel like this person gets schooled big time and has this realignment, okay? That five wands energy. <laughs> There's competition here. You guys must be, some of you, not all of you, uh, compete with one another. Who can outdo the other? Who can stay quiet the longest? Who can be the victor in this situation? Maybe even schooling each other. <sighs> There's a, I just feel like a very strong competitiveness between the two of you. And maybe you're not being competitive with them, but they are with you. <sighs> you know, and I f it feels like this person really wants to fight for this connection. But I feel like it's because you're mostly just like, okay, go do your thing. Life is the best teacher out there. No need for me. It's nothing I can say, nothing I can do. I can't force you to come into union with me or come into agreement with me on things, you know. Yeah, Virgo. This person's in heartbreak right now. They are, <laughs> they're losing, losing the battle, okay? They're losing the battle. The challenges that you are presenting here are the challenge of pulling away, of leaving, of staying away, of not doing anything, just leaving it be. Just leaving things be and letting things, letting things evolve the way they're meant to evolve. This person I feel is trying to figure out how to overcome obstacles 
in their life, heart, but that have to do with like heartbreak or breakups, emotional things. This person, they might even be watching online or are learning about relationships or, you know, watching those videos, you know, um, life coaching, relationship coaching, that kind of thing. I don't know, Virgo, I just kind of feel like, I mean, maybe they are, maybe they're not. I'm not really sure. It doesn't have to be online. They could just very well be in some kind of class or something or they're learn they're talking to oh gosh this also has to do with birth i just heard birth and children um there's like a there's like some kind of a wake-up call happening for this person because of you just taking your hands off the wheel and not doing anything you're not doing anything and and they're they don't want to have this broken heart kind of thing. They want to fix something here. They want to defend. They want to fight for your connection because the Three of Pentacles is about teamwork, you know, coming together, working on things together, carving something out between the two of you, learning to master the craft. This person is definitely very competitive. They like to win. They want to master things. And when it comes to your heart, Virgo, you don't allow it. You keep it kind of at a distance. I'm not sure why, Virgo. Is it because of this person or is it because they made you wait for something in the past? Whatever the reason might be, like you're non-existent right now. Are they looking for you? No. But can they feel that you're disappearing or gone yes you know the seven of cups always has the cup with the ghost in it and they do but this card does not but they it, that's what I mean. Like, I don't know if you're ghosting somebody, if you're doing it on purpose or, or you're not. It's just turning out to be that way. You pulled your energy back. But this is up in the reverse now here. And it's like, they don't, it's like, where are you? And that, that coming back energy, seeking you out. Okay. So your hopes and fears, Virgo, you want to be fair with this person and reasonable, but you want a win-win situation. But you are only going to give enough and have this person meet you halfway. That's what you hope they will meet you halfway. You hope they will come in. In, in a lot of ways, in fairness, but with truth, You hope they will tell you the truth about some things. Maybe there's some legal issues. Maybe it's divorce. Or maybe it's hopefully hoping for marriage. You know, a legal contract. Wow. Justice here is twice. They could be connecting with a Libra. And maybe you are aware, like intuitively. And you're hoping that they will give you the truth about that. It's amazing that justice is here twice. It is amazing. <laughs> yeah, the wheel of fortune. You want you want things to change. You you're seeking some truth, but you're but you know, like you're going in of course for some spiritual truth for yourself and trusting your intuition, but you're also hoping with this relationship that you both be fair to each other and that there will be a turning point and that it will be favorable to you, okay? But you're kind of in this position where if this person is, you know, coming back to you, you, you want them to come back with some truth to you. There's something here that maybe they did not tell you um, or why they didn't give you an answer to something. It's very bizarre. It is very bizarre. But the Wheel of Fortune's up here again. And now we have the Three of Wands. So 
So again, that's teamwork. I do see things changing here in this connection. I see things really like start to go forward. Massive change happening here where you guys <laughs> mostly I feel like now this person is the one looking out wondering where you are and they sense that things have changed in this relationship there's a different dynamic that's occurring here and this could be about travel as well is this person going to come towards you I do feel like that and they just gave me um, uh, the, the date August 13th August 13th Wow the ten of swords total surrender but Virgo you're also surrendering here I feel like both of you are like I, I do feel like in the start of August you're just phew, pulling out completely pulling out from everything and anything whether it's intentional or like or manipulative yep there's a queen of swords that's you showing up here in your reading i feel like you're being mostly truthful with yourself now some of you might be telling this person you know this thing is not working it's breaking down it's deteriorating i'm i'm moving on with my life whatever it is that you do in august here I feel like it's it's going to make a huge change because this person's going to have a lot of sadness, regret and remorse here. You know, Virgo, I don't really feel like this person doesn't want to be with you. Um I just feel like you were just in this energy for a while and maybe there was some back and forth or some things just were not working. Look at this, devil energy, very toxic in the past, toxic energy in the past, not healthy. Some of you waited and waited and waited or took somebody back, but they, this person, there was a lot of indecision. They were always at a crossroads. Um, this person was still standing there, not sure which path to go, what they wanted, what they wanted to do. And I feel like whether you purposely are trying to, you know, go no contact makes this person return or you're just done. I see a return happening here with them. Yeah, you want a balanced stable and secure relationship that's what's in your head that's what's in your mind that is what that's your crown energy you know what you deserve you know what's best for you but you're making these changes here virgo <laughs> look the ten of pentacles again yep you're seeking and you're going after that security in your life okay yep Courage and strength for you, giving yourself that unconditional love. That's what you need to be doing at this time. Pulling your energy back, going quiet, focusing on yourself, and loving the ish out of yourself, Virgo. More so than you ever did anyone else in this world, even this person. And look at her cup. It's glowing gold. All right, let's get some love messages. I feel like my um, these readings are getting longer and longer. Let's get some love messages here, Virgo. Oh, okay. You know what, you guys? I'll take them, but I don't feel like these were shuffed, shuffled very well, but I'm going to give them anyway because spirit popped them out. I'm sorry. I know I messed up everything. You speak to me through music. Okay. I want to trust you. I pretend you don't mean that much. I took the easy way out. Okay, yes, by just not saying anything to you. Capricorn energy in the past there. We have Leo here. We have Sagittarius. Did I say that? I left you before you could leave me. See, I feel like this is what this person did. Why did they do that? Yeah, the 
timing just wasn't right. So they weren't motivated to try to bring something together with you that you felt like you both wanted. You know, there was a compromise that needed to be made in the past here. There was a decision, some choices. There was a lot of reflection, but things needed to come into balance. But I feel like this person perhaps was dealing with some kind of addiction or sexual lust, um, or they were just trapped, trapped by that devil energy, a lot of anxiety and fear as well. I love you unconditionally. I do feel like this person does love you, Virgo. But I feel like maybe you really weren't loving yourself unconditionally. And I see you doing that now. And it's very, very good. Some of you are taking care of your pets. <laughs> spending time with your cat. Really being mindful and present to what's really important to you at this time. Someone's undergoing a spiritual transformation. Yeah, there's a change here. And that's what the tower is. Because that lightning strikes that crown chakra. And that's the connection between wisdom and spiritual insight. And it's like a wake up. A spiritual awakening. The high priestess, she can be extremely intuit intuitive and maybe even she has psychic abilities for sure so there might be something here that you have some kind of influence on someone or some of you i'm gonna have to say listen if you did this like i don't condone this but some of you might be casting spells or casted a spell <laughs> to break this person open right um, and I just, they just gave me that message and I don't know, I don't practice that kind of stuff, but I don't know if that's what's going on here, but this person cannot stop thinking about you. Did you put a love spell on them, Virgo? <laughs> Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a lesson, but it's both ways. You're teaching them one as well, Virgo. I'm going to get one more and then I'm going to do the charms. I am afraid to contact you. Yep. You know why, Virgo? For some of you, they're afraid to contact you because you're going to blow their head off. <laughs> not, I hope not in real life, but. All right, let's get a couple of charms here. All right. Well, we've got a crab. Boom. Cancer. 100%. Soft in the center. Hard candy shell on the outside. This person, very soft inside, but very hard on the outside, okay? Um, now, maybe somebody likes crabs or eats crabs or you're eating them now, something connected, crabs, you're at the beach, there's crab shells or crabs all around, you have crabs somewhere, somebody might have crabs, please go get some medical help. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, we've got a cherry and we have some blueberry wine just heard blueberry wine um cherries and blueberries or somebody's making a um fruit smoothie are you drinking a fruit smoothie right now i don't know who would drink cherries and cherry and blueberry fruit smoothie but you know hey to each their own i guess it would taste good i guess um there's a fruity wine though you might be drinking a fruity wine by the beach or like that kind of thing something to do with cherry maybe somebody's name is cherry I feel like I get the same one. Oh my gosh with this honeybee already this honeybee I, that's why I said I get the same ones the honeybee flying around buzz buzzing around somebody is there's somebody they're buzzing around you you may not even realize Maybe there's, uh, there, I just saw like a plant with, with uh, bees on it. One of the hive, they said. Virgo, you're not one of the hive. You don't follow along. You do your own thing. You're very independent and creative. 
All right, we have a lot of sea seashore stuff going on here. We have the ship's wheel, and that feels like the wheel of fortune. There's something turning here. Like I say all the time, wheels were meant for turning. They were meant to be in motion. And I mostly feel a lot of you are the ones who are at the um, at the stern. You guys are the ones who are, you know, directing this ship now in your life, whatever path you're taking or wherever you're going. Um, but that ship's wheel, captain's wheel, something to do with a ship wheel here. I just feel like getting one more. Oh, <laughs> well, they give, they're giving me a spider. A lot of creatures here, bees and spiders and crabs. A lot of you are at the beach and you're on vacation. That's what I'm picking up right now, or your person is, but there's beach and vacation. And there's a lot of, there's sea creatures, but this, this spider, um, this feels like Black Widow, and I don't really know what that means. The, the first thing that came out when it fell was Black Widow. Is there a movie, a Marvel movie called Black Widow? Maybe you went to see that or with you, you know, I don't know if you went to see that or you are looking at a trailer of that or there's something connected to Black Widow. Um, I'm not going further with that Black Widow because I don't know. But I also heard Charlotte. Somebody's name might be Charlotte. Are you communicating with someone on the web by the name of Charlotte? Or you are and somebody's communicating with you. I know Charlotte's Web, but they just gave me that Charlotte, Charlotte's Web. All right, Virgo. Um, that reading was, I, I felt, I have to tell you, so I pick up things. And when I was doing this reading, I feel a bit out of sorts, a bit out of alignment doing this reading. And it feels mostly because of this high priestess energy where you're kind of shut down. I'm feeling this shutdown energy. You know, usually I can just really get stuff out, but I feel so much hesitation. And I feel like you want to talk and you want to break stuff down and you want to like wake somebody up or have something happen, but there's a lot of hesitation and you're just holding back. You're not saying anything. And there's something here where I just kind of feel like you're on the, I see you on the edge of like a diving board. You're not fearful, but you're standing on this edge of this diving board and you're thinking about jumping in that water. You're not scared, but you can't turn back is what I feel. There's something pulling you. There's something drawing you to another path. Now, whether, like I said, I, I'm not sure. I, I'm picking up. I, it's kind of like when you go into a room and there's like 100 people and you hear all of these voices talking. There's a lot of talking going around and it's drowning out um, the messages, but I just kind of feel like there's a crowded room. If you're like in a crowded room or you're somewhere where there's a lot of people, it's hard to think. And so you're just staying quiet. That's, that's really what the energy is that I'm picking up here. And I'm not exactly sure how that's going to resonate. You guys might think about it in my mind, but that's fine. We'll leave it the way it is. All right, Virgo. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this reading and please do hit like, share and subscribe if you do. And I will speak to you guys very soon. All right, take care.